Denied critical bus driver shortages are causing one St. Charles County School District to make some difficult decisions. Five on your side's Mercedes McKay joins us live outside the Francis Howell School District's bus depot to explain. Mercedes. Mike and Ann, right now there are several problems that the district is facing that's impacting this bus driver shortage. From retirement to rising costs to even how they're funded by the state. The superintendent tells me that they want to make these changes now because they expect this problem to only get worse. We're really trying to be proactive and avoid a crisis next year when it comes to a shortage of staffing. A crisis that would affect hundreds of students and families in the Francis Howell School District, all centered around these yellow buses. Several of our neighboring districts have had to go through that in the last year or two, and we've been fortunate that we haven't yet, and we don't want that to happen. Superintendent Ken Rumpus says right now there are seven bus driver openings. While that number may not seem huge, the district is covering 30 to 40 bus routes daily for drivers who can't come in. We're having to use our office staff each and every day to cover all of those routes. Everyone who can drive a bus in the Francis Howell District is out driving them each and every day. On top of that, Rumpus says 44% of the district's bus drivers will be eligible for retirement next year. This year it's been a minimal impact, although it's caused a lot of stress within the department and for some of our families, but we fully expect that to only get worse over the next couple of years. That's why the district is looking at possible changes. First, bus transportation would not be provided for students who live within one mile of the school, with the exception of unsafe streets or special needs students. We currently transport all students. Um, we are one of very few districts in the St. Louis area where students who live less than a mile can still ride a bus to school. Another option, change start and end times for some schools. That would allow us to have middle school and high school students ride the bus to and from school together. Both of these options would free up close to 20 drivers each, making bus routes more efficient and saving the school money. Even if finances were no obstacle, we can't find enough drivers. It's a vacancy that Rumpus says every school is competing for, which is why changes are necessary. We looked at multiple solutions and are trying to identify, you know, what is the best of several ultimate solutions that nobody is going to love, but that they're best for the district. The district got more than 600 responses to their transportation survey. They're going to look over all of those and they're hoping to make a decision by the spring so that everyone has time to adjust. Live in St. Charles, Mercedes McKay, five on your side.